Today we are going to talk about how to create your own title block for layouts and how to create it in model space. First we are going to draw a rectangle and when we draw the rectangle the key is that we keep in mind what kind of size layout we want to have. In this case it's an A3 format so I'm going to type in the dimensions for an A3 which is 297 and 420 millimeters. Once we have our rectangle, I'm going to select everything and give it an offset of 5 millimeters. I can do this by typing the letter O or I can search for the command in the quad cursor. Next, I'm going to draw a vertical line to create a section for information. Next, I'm creating another vertical line by using the command offset with 3 millimeters. To make our title block a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, I'm going to delete the line in between by using the command trim. Now we have a section on the right side of our plan to put some information. I'm going to explode the rectangular so that I have individual lines that I can offset later. First, I want to offset the upper line by 50 millimeters, so I can have a section to put the logo of a company. Here again, I'm going to offset 3 millimeters and trim off the excess lines. Now, for the other parts of the title block, I want to create four more frames. Here, I'm using an offset of 35 millimeters and then again 3 millimeters. I'm going to select the two lines and copy them three more times to create my four frames. We just need to clean up the excess lines and then we have our title block divided. Now we can start putting some text in the different frames. You can type in T for text and select the endpoints where you want the text to be. You can adjust uh, some properties for the text like the color, the font and the size. In this case I'm going to name it drawing title. I'm going to move the title a little bit more downwards. I'm also going to move the title a little bit more to the right by 3 millimeters. Now I'm going to make another text for the drawing title, uh, which is usually in every project different. Now I'm going to copy these two titles and paste them in the other three frames. Frame I can also divide the frame again to have a separate window for date and a separate window for scale. In this frame I want to have the client name and client address on it. And for the last frame I want to have the architect name and the architect address on it. So now in the right part of the plan you can see some titles on it. In the first section I wanted to have a logo of the company on it and in the second section there will be some notes or copyright claimer information on it. And like this our title block design is finished. And when we are going to layout one you have the viewport there uh, which we want to delete. We have to go back to model space to select everything of the title block and copy with a base point. Now we select the base point and we go back to layer 1. So now when you paste the title block you can choose the end point where you want to put it in. You see here the default page size is an A4. Now we have to change it in an A3 because we measured our title block as an A3. 
Now you can see our title block is a little bit shifted, but we can select them all and move it to the right place. Now we have created our title block in an A3 paper size. To finish off this title block, we also have to add in a new viewport. You can do that with typing viewport in the command bar or using the quad cursor. Here I'm just selecting the endpoints where I want the viewport to be and here it is. So here you can see I'm scrolling in the model space and if I click out I'm scrolling in the paper space. Next I'm going to layout 2 to use the title block in another paper size. So with the right mouse click I'm going to choose page setup. With the paper size I'm going to choose A2 and I'm going to click OK. So you can see the paper space, it's much more bigger than the title block. I'm going to copy it from the model space again. Copy to base point. Going back to layout 2 and paste it at the very corner of my paper. So to adjust the size of my title block, I'm going to use the command stretch. After selecting the parts I want to be moved, I type in stretch and as you can see I can just move the titles and the frames to the right. Oh, the same thing for the height of the title block, I'm going to select the parts I want to be moved and I type in stretch and I can move the title block upwards. Here I'm just moving the title of the notes and copyright claimers up and now we have a title block for an A2 size. If you don't like the title section on the right to be the whole height of the plan, uh, we can do it another way. So let me go back a few steps first. Here we are going to stretch the height again. Uh, make sure your ortho snap is on, it would make things a lot easier that way. So now we are going to try to make the frames a little bit lower so we would have some more viewport space on the upper right. We can still make the frames a little bit smaller maybe by deleting the upper one where the logo should be and this is how you resize your title block to a bigger paper space. Lastly, we just need to add a viewport in this title block. So we are going to type viewport and then type polygonal. This way you can make a viewport with a more complicated geometry. And here you can see our model space, which I'm scrolling in. So back to the paper space and our title block is finished. I'm just going to rename layout 2 in the size, A2. And then the layout 1, I wanted to rename it to A3 according to the paper size I used there. To save this title block, you will have to choose the option Save Drawing As and file type should be Drawing Template. Okay, and save. Now quickly, I'm going to show you how to insert the title block in another drawing. So here I have a drawing where I wanted to do the layout with. So on my cursor, I'm going to Layout 1, right click and choose from template. In the template file, you will find the title block that you've made before. So click on that and open. Then BricksCAD will ask you to choose the layout name. So here I chose the A2 one. And I'm going to do the same thing again. 
and choose a A3. So we have both. So after clicking A2 and A3, you see that there are new tabs in the layout. Click those and you will find the title block with the size accordingly. Furthermore, you can adjust the scale of the drawing by clicking the viewport and change the annotation. Here, for example, it's 4 to 1, so it will be like that. For each layout, you can change the titles accordingly. So here, drawing title, I'm going to say mechanical part. For dates, we are going to choose the date of today, which is the 8th of October. And the scale, in this case, it will be 4 to 1 instead of 1 to 200. In the same way, you can also adjust the client and architect information. And when we go over to A2, you can do the same thing by adjusting the scale, the titles and other information in the title block. And this is how you make your own custom design title block in BrickSCAD. Thank you for watching.